Okay, so this is gonna go together really simple. So I actually have two cans. Now these are two different brands that look identical of the vegetarian mock pork. Now this says vegetarian, but if you look at the label, the ingredients labels, neither of them contain anything that would make them to where they're not vegan. So this is gonna be 100% plant-based. Essentially, they both contain fried gluten, uh, soy sauce, uh, sugar, salt, and water. Uh, each can will make probably two burgers, so today we're just gonna do two, we're just gonna do a small batch, one for me, one for Monica. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up, I'm gonna kinda like lightly drain it, I'm gonna give a little press on the lid to just release any extra liquid that's in the seitan, but the seitan doesn't have to be completely dry, just mostly get rid of most of the liquid that's in here. And you can really see the texture of this product, and I think it's the reason why it makes such a great burger. I'm just gonna add everything into a small blender, food processor here. Now most of the ingredients in this are pretty straightforward, but some of them are things that you're gonna have to probably buy online. Uh, you're not gonna be able to find some of these locally, maybe some health food stores. Uh, but for the most part, this is gonna be very similar to my TVP burger, my burgers that I've made in the past. So if you've had those and you've enjoyed the taste of them, you're gonna really love this because the texture is just what is through the roof. It's what makes this in my opinion, an Impossible Burger killer. I mean, I love Impossible Burger, but man, this comes through. So all we're gonna do is just quickly pulse this until we get about a burger consistency, small, fine chunks, varying sizes. Don't wanna overdo it, that's for sure. If you overdo it, you just won't have that good burger consistency. Oh, and I'm really, really happy with this. Okay, so at this point, I'm just moving this over to a larger bowl just because it's gonna make it easier to mix up. This needs to be mixed a decent amount. We wanna make sure that everything is fully incorporated. Okay, so to turn these little gluten crumbles into meat, all we need to do is we're gonna add one teaspoon of beetroot powder, half teaspoon cocoa powder, one teaspoon mushroom seasoning, one tablespoon nutritional yeast, one tablespoon protein powder, now specifically today, I'm using the uh, mung bean protein, but you can also use pea protein. That's a lot more common. Uh, either one of those proteins is gonna work really well in this recipe. I actually think the pea protein might work a little bit better, might give you a little bit less of the protein taste. One tablespoon methyl cellulose, one tablespoon white distilled vinegar, and a quarter cup plus one tablespoon cold tap water. Now the other thing you can add if you like the grilled burger taste but you're cooking it on the stove like me, I'm gonna add about a drop or two of liquid smoke to mine. Not much, you don't need to add a whole lot to get just a little smoky flavor. So at this point, all you wanna do is just make sure that this is well mixed, well combined, make sure there's no dry bits of any of the ingredients, the methyl cellulose or the, uh, the beetroot powder. Uh, if, the, if it seems like it's slightly dry and there's no sheen in the mixture, it might not be hydrated enough. Uh, you might have drained too much liquid out of the can or that seitan might not have been as dry. So just add maybe another teaspoon to tablespoon of water. So at this point, mine does seem really dry. The mixture is, it's really well incorporated at this point, but this has to sit and all of that methyl cellulose has to hydrate up and suck in all of that moisture. So I'm gonna add about another tablespoon of water to mine. That doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean that you will need, you know, the quarter cup and two tablespoons. It just means that this particular mixture did. All we're gonna do is just cover this up, let it rest for about a half an hour. That's gonna allow all of that moisture to get sucked into the gluten and the methyl cellulose and the protein and really hydrate everything up so that way when you cook it, it binds and holds and becomes a meaty, firm burger. I can't wait. Okay, great, so after a half an hour, this looks pretty awesome. It's pretty dense. Everything has definitely been hydrated. Uh, so at this point, you can roll these into burgers, cook them as is. I'm gonna add just a little bit of fat to them just to give them some of those like little fat pockets. Uh, but really with this mixture, you don't necessarily need them. This is already a good bitey burger without it. It's gonna be really juicy. Now I use these fat pucks in most of my burgers. Uh, they come out really good. They're made out of methyl cellulose and coconut oil. Uh, sometimes I'll add a little bit of starch or a gum. Uh, I, I'll leave the instructions in the description below along with a video where I show these. But all we're gonna do is take about half of the fat puck, actually not even in this one, about a quarter of the fat puck, because it's only two burgers, and we're just going to grate this in. Try to get some bigger chunks. Awesome. So at this point, these look really good. I'm just gonna make two burgers. I'm gonna throw them on some parchment paper just so I can handle them. But we're gonna make the two burgers. We're gonna season them up with some salt, 
pepper, a little bit of garlic powder. Throw these in an oiled skillet over like a medium high heat. We're gonna cook them for about three minutes on each side. These are amazing. They're juicy and burgery. Let's top these burgers. We're just gonna throw these on a bun, top them with a little bit of ketchup and mustard with some onions, maybe some pickles and lettuce. Uh, these are awesome. And then look at these, look at these burgers. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta bring Monica in for the taste test, baby. So I've already tried half of mine okay. um, and it is good. It looks I good. don't want to, you know, I, I don't wanna like change your judgment okay. on this, I'll be but honest. yeah, be honest. This looks awesome. I mean, it just looks beautiful. Yeah. So that, that, it has that going for it. Yes. Okay, ready? Okay, yep, do it. Mm. I'm really enjoying this. Oh, it's got a meaty texture. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it looks like meat. It's pretty juicy. Mm -hmm. It's really juicy. It bites like, just like meat. Yeah. It tastes like a burger, just tastes like a burger, and then. So impossible burger-like, or beyond burger-like, or close or not close? Yeah, I think it's more of a beyond-like. So the one thing I will say is these did sit for about 10 minutes between the time that I tried them and now that Monica's trying them. The thing about methyl cellulose is it firms when you cook it, but as it cools down, it also starts to get soft again. So like a real burger, when you cook the burger, it firms, it's gonna stay firm, where this will soften as you cool it. So you have to eat it right away. Yeah, so your Monica's burger wasn't as dense and bitey as my original taste that I did. It still tastes pretty firm to me. I think if you serve them right away, right off the grill, right off the frying pan, you're gonna have a much mm -hmm. better experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm happy about this. It's pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. 